The idea was to pattern it after the Bell rocket belt. The Bell rocket belt was very ingenious in that it solved many of the problems that you would face building a rocket belt. Number one is how do you steer it? You steer it very naturally. It's almost like a motorcycle. You have a controller that pivots. The pivot allows the thrust to be directed in a way that would push you forward. If you want to move forward, you push it down. If you want to go backwards, you raise it up. If you want to turn left or right, you simply turn left or right. If you want to spin on axis, you have a grip control. This causes these jet baiters to turn and spin you on axis. And for your throttle, you have this control. The secret life of a rocket belt is that it has a central tank that's high pressure nitrogen. The high pressure nitrogen comes down, goes through a valve, comes around, and feeds these two tanks. These two tanks are filled with hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is pushed down by the gas and is collected by this manifold pipe, which comes up through a flexible hose to a valve. The valve meters the hydrogen peroxide into a catalyst chamber. The catalyst chamber is filled with silver screens. They look like window screens. They're made out of solid silver, and there's a stack of them in here. When the high-pressure hydrogen peroxide hits these screens, it's decomposed from H2O2 into H2O plus O2, which is steam and gas. This gas expands many thousands of times from its liquid state in its high-pressure thrust that comes down these down tubes. The down tubes then allow the gas to escape and produce thrust that lift you up. Again, these little rings are, are the jet vaders, and they pivot, and they pivot in a counteracting measure. So as this one's moving up, the other one's moving down. That washes the thrust back and forth and spins you on axis. Right now, I'm working on an alternate propulsion system using nitrous oxide and a fuel pellet. When that's developed, and the only problem I'm having is throttling down right now, I can then go flying. Right now I am working on a flight line version, which is basically a zip line with a low pressure jet that allows me to learn the peculiarities of flying the rocket belt. Well, to see this rocket belt and many more, go to www.rocketbelt.nl. All right, I'm here at the Maker's Fair in the rocket pack. All strapped in. Also, go blast off.